Hey guys, what's up? Adam Creates here. Today we are going to be doing another UEFN terrain tutorial. And we will be discussing how to auto paint gravel under your roads, auto paint gravel and mud under rivers and lakes, and some other neat tips and tricks when working with lakes and rivers. Before we start the video, don't forget to use code ADAMXE in the Fortnite item shop if you want to support me. If you would like to see more content like this, don't forget to like and subscribe, turn on notifications. Let's hop straight into the video. If you're watching this tutorial, I assume you know how to make a landscape. Go into landscape mode, you'll get your little settings on the left, and you click create. Now you see we have this nice landscape here for our players to play on. Let's go ahead and move our player spawners up above the landscape so they don't spawn under the map. Now let's get into the main part of the tutorial. Okay, so we'll hop on that. We need to have some organic spines. We want you to do later layer by press create. And we want you to rename this to roads. And the reserve response with an option here. Click yes. And then you're starting your roads. And then first you're going to click on segments up here. Go down to spine meshes and put in your road static mesh. Whatever you are using. We now have our road here. And you see the grass under here. And you may be wondering to yourself, how do you get rid of all this grass? Make it look good. Most people will go to paint and start manually painting under the roads and if you have a large map with a lot of roads this may be a difficult and time consuming challenge so instead of that we're going to take the easy route you're going to go to manage splines click on any part of your road you're going to go to segments scroll down to the landscape deformation tab and where you find layer name you're going to type in layer one or whatever your gravel um, paint layer is and when you do that you'll see you automatically have gravel under your roads now so no matter where you move them there's always going to be gravel under it and it will look very nice you may not like how much gravel there is on the sides though and you may want to change that some people don't think you can but you actually can surprisingly you're going to click on control points up here and you're going to find this setting here called layer width ratio it's going to be automatically set to one. Now, if you lower this number, you will get them to be closer to the actual road. So if I change it to like 0 0.9, it'll get small, it'll get closer and closer to the middle of the road till it's nearly invisible at zero. As you can see. As you can see it's like barely poking out the sides at all. So for me, I will put in 0 0.9, 0 0.8. I think I like 0.8 for my roads. As you can see, it doesn't poke out of the edges too far. It looks nice. It blends nice. There's no grass under the roads anymore. And you can easily just create more spline points without having to paint under each new spline point to get good looking roads. It's as simple as that. And that's basically all you have to do for roads. Now let's do rivers in lakes. So. Obviously, you want to create some rivers and some lakes for your map to make it look nice. You're going to create a water layer for your rivers and all that fun stuff. You can find rivers, lakes, and all that stuff by going to the Fortnite folder, environment, and water. A river here, and drag a lake here. Now we have this lake and river here in our landscape. And as you can see, they have zero paint under them. They're just a normal river and lake with grass under them. Ugly, stinky grass. And you want to get your mud and gravel under there to make it look like a real lake. So most people will just go into here, go to paint, and just start manually painting all of this. This may be a house for you if you have a lot of rivers or lakes in your map. Well, I have a solution for you. You don't have to manually paint this all. You can actually auto paint it. Go into selection mode. You're going to click on your lake first. Now what we're going to do we're going to scroll down on the details tab till we find the layer weight map settings. We're going to click on add element here, this little plus icon, and you're going to see none. What you're going to type in is you're going to type in your gravel layer. So we're going to type in layer one. We're going to click add again, and you're going to put in your mud layer, which for me is layer two. Let's go back in here and put in layer two. Now you may say, where are they? The auto paints are not anywhere in this river. Well, in order to turn this on, you have to go into your landscape mode. And where you see this little thing down here, while having your water layer selected, you need to find this setting down here, landscape water brush manager. 
and turn on toggle effects weight map. When you turn that on, you will see your auto paint is there. You have now successfully added your auto painting to your lake. You can do the same for your river too. How do we adjust the way it looks though? Well, you go into your layer weight map settings here, find the one you want to adjust. So I want to adjust my mud so it's closer to the actual water of the lake. So we're going to drop this down and mess with some settings. Edge offset, let's see what happens if I change that to one or 10, 20, 30, 300. That makes it larger. So we're going to set fall off width to 100. See what that does. Ah, see it made it shorter, but it's not as smooth. So we're gonna change that back to what it was and mess with this other setting down here. Um, midpoint, let's see what this does. One, two, three, one, two. 2.5. There we go. The mud is right up near the water. It looks nice. It looks like it blends nice. And now we have a nice auto painting lake. I do want to change my gravel a little bit. So maybe I will change this midpoint to 0. Point or 1. Let's change it to 1. Let's have the fall off width be even bigger so it blends more. So we'll change this to like 650. Now it'll blend even more with the grass. Or how about even 800? Let's go 800 and turn the midpoint even higher. So maybe 1.5. Yeah, I like that. So we have our nice lake here and wherever we move any spline points, it'll automatically paint under it and act like a normal lake. We can do the same for our rivers. You can click on your river, find the layer weight map settings and do the same thing we did before. We're gonna put in layer one add put in layer two add change this midpoint to 2.5 actually it looks like it needs to be even longer this time so two what about 1.8 1.6 i like that let's go to layer one and let's see i think i actually already like the the gravel for this so that's all you have to do it now auto paints your gravel and mud so you can duplicate the spline point, move your spline points around, and you will automatically have gravel and mud under. You can mess with settings to make the smoothing even smoother. You can make it longer. You can have it blend even further from the actual water. You can do many things with this. Now you may be saying, I want to have a little island in the middle of my lake here. You try to go to landscape mode. You click on your landscape layer that you use for, you know, sculpting and all that stuff. You can make a nice mountain here. And you want to add a little island here. You turn up your brush settings to the max and you still can't even paint in here. That is because the water layer over trumps the landscape sculpting layer. So in order to put an island in the middle of your lake, you have to create another layer. We'll call this water sculpt or actually we're just going to call this extra sculpting layer now with this extra sculpting layer we have to make sure it is sitting above the water layer and we can now sculpt inside our lake and as you can see it does auto paint the gravel on this which is a problem you'll face you can choose to turn off your auto paint for your lakes and do the paints manually if you don't want the island to be muddy. There is no way to remove the paints from this island, sadly, if you have it auto painting. So you will have to do the lake paint manually if you want it to not have the mud paint on the island. But that is basically how you auto paint your roads rivers, lakes, and how you can even sculpt over top of your lakes or rivers or whatever you want to do. You can even have the river be blocked off to where you may have like a little tunnel go through here. You have like a giant mountain here and you have a tunnel go through here using the model mode but to make custom models. Check out my last tutorial for how to do that. You can do many things with this. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm going to be making more content like this soon. Thank you for all the support recently. I've just hit 780 subscribers on YouTube. I'm extremely happy and thankful for every single one of you. 
Um, I hope to keep growing this year, hopefully get a thousand subs. So if you do like this content, please, please, please subscribe. All right, well, I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later. That's the best. We got the quickest triggers in the whole wild west. We got sweats and deaths taking odds on bets. Ain't no telling who the upper hand gets. We got man cakes and pancakes. We got a whole stack of trouble when the action breaks. We got gun fights every night. We got butter plate specials that'll treat you right. Come on down, rip some money. It's going on up the surfing nightly. And then stacks of jacks Jugs and maple, you can throw it on back Kick it back in front of the fire Take a load off to your heart's desire Got a cannon up front, worn out back We got home style cooking and that's a fact Check the board